All right, we just went over a couple preseason games. We are going to go over a couple more. And here are weekend watch list five players to watch this weekend. Top five games. We're going to tell you when the games are, where to watch them, go. who they're against, and why it's important. Let's start with number five. We kind of dubbed him this yesterday after his response to Ryan Clark. Jamie and I were laughing. Salty Tua. Salty Tua. Salty Tua. Tua clapped back at Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark has since apologized for that statement, and it is all good. It seems like everyone's all right. But we saw a side of Tua two days ago in that press conference that I think we all kind of liked. Hey, enough is enough. I'm not the butt of the jokes. He has put on 10 pounds. It's been 10 pounds of muscle. He is bigger and thicker than he was last year, but that's because he's trying to protect himself from future injury. Tua's going to be out there. They're playing the Jaguars tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. That's an annual thing. Jags, Dolphins, they end their seasons together. And Tua's going to go. Like, we're putting Tua out there. It did not go well last week for him when his first pass it through an interception. People were snickering. I said this yesterday on the show. I feel like Tua sometimes people just take shots at him, take shots at him, take shots at him. I, I saw a tweet online. Someone said, you know, uh, someone has Tua in his fantasy draft. Enjoy that for three weeks. At some point, Tua was like, it's not funny. It's not funny. I'm an NFL quarterback. I've got a contract looming. And yes, I had concussion issues last year. That's why I missed some games. He's healthy. He's ready to go. And Tua, Tua's going to be playing tomorrow night. Let's see Tua against the Jaguars. That's number five. Number four. We saw Justin Fields in week one. And on the first few plays, it was touchdown, touchdown. DJ Moore. Khalil Herbert, and it was these little passes here, and then the guys did the rest. This was a big play, also the third completion of his game. Um, here we go, Justin Fields, he's playing again, and he's supposed to go, and we're not sure how long he's gonna go, whether it's a quarter or a second quarter, or it's the third quarter, how long he plays. But they're playing the Bills tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, and I wanna see if Fields can pick up where he left off in this preseason debut, where it was like, little pass, touchdown. Longer pass, touchdown. Uh, he's Two, two for two, two touchdowns on this one. He had a third pass also. But let's see what else we get from Justin Fields. Kind of want to see what Luke Getze's offense looks like beyond just run the ball with Fields, <laughs> run the ball with Fields. Last year, and whether it was because of injuries or because he didn't trust the receivers, because things collapsed with the offensive line, Justin Fields ran for a lot of yards, but he didn't throw for a ton of yards. I'd like to see more throwing in the offense if possible. Maybe we see a glimpse of that in preseason game number three. Number three, similar kind of deal. Hit me, baby, one more time with this guy, Jordan Love. He's going to be playing, and Matt LaFleur said it. You know, Matt LaFleur revealed yesterday that Sean Clifford is likely going to be the number two. That's a very young quarterback room, and that is a very interesting deal. If you're going to have Jordan Love out there, he threw this beauty of a pass Dying. before this preseason game was shut down. Um, Jordan Love looked like he was in rhythm, he was in motion, and then the game was cut short. I would like to see it again, and again, mm. and again. The Packers play the Seahawks tomorrow. It's 1 p.m. Eastern. You gotta put that one on. You'll watch that. It's in Green Bay. It'll be a beautiful morning. Have it on, and let's see more of Jordan Love. He is the man right now. Obviously, we know Rodgers is gone, and we've done a Good Morning Football show every day in August based on Aaron <laughs> Rodgers. <laughs> For this one segment, I'm going to give three minutes or three seconds to Jordan Love. So yeah. Jordan Love, he's the guy who's coming in. Nice. Let's get him and we'll Good see what happens. Was that a Britney Spears show? Ratio. Ratio. Hit me, yeah, baby, one okay. more time. I'll be saying, oops, I did it again. That's a great point, Sean. <laughs> I don't have any other references. Number two. That's it. <laughs> number two. Better work. All right. So we were just told you number we go. three. It doesn't mean you're not playing in the preseason. If anything, it means more time in the preseason. Trey Lance, what do you got? Like, what that are we doing? Was, that was embarrassing. Uh, in many cases, it, you'd say it was uh, it was an insulting. And in a lot of ways, you'd say, gosh, if only I had a chance to prove myself instead of being third. You do have a chance to prove yourself. Go out there tomorrow and ball out. Like, Trey, go out there and have a huge game. I know it's the preseason, but you're going to play. You're going to get action. They play the Chargers, and that's tonight. So put it on NFL Network. It's the late, late game, so you have it on. 10 p.m. Eastern tonight. Chargers versus 49ers. I assure you, Trey Lance is getting reps. And similar to Tua, he's been mocked. People are saying he's the worst draft pick of all time, that the Niners whiffed on this one. How could you say that? He hasn't had the opportunity to play. It's just a matter of circumstance. They've got their guy in Purdy. He will be playing tonight. And let's see what Trey Lance has. He missed practice yesterday. It was kind of one of those deals they were like, or two days ago. They're like, let's just let him chill out here. This is weird news that he's the third guy. We're gonna, he's fine, he'll play. 
Trey Lance, let's see what he's got. And you know what? He plays really well. Maybe 31 other teams are watching and that phone mm -hmm. will start ringing. All right, and my last one, local here. We already gave Jordan Love his moment. Oh, Peter. Oh, I think I just broke the screen. Rogers. Hey, roll to duck. It's my guy. It's my guy. <laughs> Roger payroll deduct. <laughs> That's got to be a football term. I don't know that on Good yeah. Morning Football. Come see my check. It's in the negative. Um, Aaron Rodgers. He's playing. As you watched Hard Knocks, Sala pulling over like some of the defensive players. The big guy's going. We're going to have the big guy playing. Like, who are you talking about? I'm talking about eight. Like, that was like, ooh. Um, he's playing. He wants to play. He wants to get a rhythm with his guys. Aaron Rodgers versus Sean O'Hara's beloved New York Giants. It's known as the Snoopy Bowl back in the day. I don't know if it still goes no, by the Snoopy Snoopy's Bowl. Snoopy's gone. Snoopy's like, hang on. Snoopy just like yeah. a... Too bad. <laughs> he did not hang on Snoopy. That's good. Uh, Rodgers, is, ready. Rodgers is full of uh, great references himself, Sean. I know he would appreciate that one. But Aaron Rodgers is going to play behind the offensive line that there's questions about and uh, with young receivers. So we'll see. Aaron Rodgers, first action as a Jet. Trey Lance back on the horse. Jordan Love one more time. Justin Fields, Encore, and then my guy, Salty Tua, like, Arr. what do you guys got? <laughs> I love it, Salty Tua. There was a clip of him on the bench. He looked salty on that one. Uh, number two, Trey Lance. I think for him to be that high of a draft pick, news hit that you're now the third-string quarterback. And to your point, usually when that happens, news you're a third-string quarterback, you won't be seeing the field for a long time. And he has an opportunity tonight to go out there and play. And if I'm him, I want to get the hell out of San Francisco. Thank you guys for drafting me, but I want to go somewhere where I have an opportunity to compete, to play now, and prove that I'm worthy of that draft pick. Okay, Peter, Aaron Rodgers is going to be in his pads, have his jersey on, trot out there for what? A series? Maybe. Three three yeah. plays? I have no you idea. have no idea. I have no indication. He is going to start. Hmm, I think in an, I, in an ideal world, what you said last segment, it's eight plays and it ends in a touchdown, and then you go watch. If it's only three plays and it's three and out, yeah. what well, was the point, game. right? When yeah. you're, you're a veteran quarterback, you in there, I don't want any balls on the ground. Yeah. The ball cannot touch the ground. And no one touch me. When you're an old lineman, you say, I just don't want to jam any thumbs. If you can get through the preseason without jamming a thumb, wow. it was a good preseason. Sean, do you have any insight on if the Giants are sending all their number ones? Or uh, no? I don't think they're playing. Okay. Uh, I don't, they, they play their starters a lot in, in the, in the second game. A lot of joint game, practices. So I don't yeah. even know if we're going to see Daniel Jones in, mm. in this third game. Mm. So uh, all eyes, of course, will be on that Jets sideline. But it could be the Tommy DeVito Bowl, which would yeah. be interesting. Tell us about Tommy uh, DeVito. We love Tommy us, DeVito. Real quick, we've had him on the show. We love Tommy. Yeah, friend of the show. He came here with his entourage. Um, Pride of Cedar Grove, Jersey guy, Bosco guy. Um, threw his first touchdown to Tommy Sweeney, one of his Bosco High teammates. High school teammates, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I, I can't went wait for Syracuse, that Went to Syracuse, went to Illinois, and then comes here. Yes. He got drafted or he was an unsigned guy? He was an undrafted, undrafted free agent, yeah. but uh, they actually paid him a lot of money. Like he, was, he got paid more than some draft picks because mm. they really they wanted him. Really want he has gr great progress. He's really progressed throughout this training camp. They didn't know what he was going to do against Detroit in that first game. Lit he it up. played really well. He mm. lit it up. Sean, real quick, um, where can we find you on the broadcast for Giants Jets tomorrow? I'll be in the booth. Uh, I'm calling the game with Chris Carino. On Radio WFAN TV? Radio. Radio, yeah. WFAN. Yeah. yeah, so I'll be looking forward to all the Jets stuff. Um, and it, it's going to be a fun night. We call it the Jersey Fist Pump Bowl now, I think. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think the winner gets a... a, a oh you call it that, yeah. Sean. I, I think don't. the winner gets a, 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 a pass to DJs for the entire summer of 2020. Shout out to, hang to out DJs. With wow. Sean to hang out with mm. Sean O'Hara. Shout out to DJs. Mm. West mm. Bar. Yeah. West Bar DJs. Yeah. Rico Bosco, I see you. Mm. There you go. Yep. Uh, very good, Peter. We love that Shrek list.